Derek Kowalczyk is Chief Investment Strategist at SJS Markets. He joins us live from Hong Kong. Derek, do you think the G8 has achieved anything so far? Does the G8 ever achieve anything? Usually not, and this time we haven't had anything firm except for the climate deal for industrialized countries, but it doesn't have impact on either the current economy or the markets. What interests me is uh, the continued pressure from uh, BRICS and uh, other emerging economies uh, on replacing the dollar uh, as a trade settlement currency, and uh, in time this will have a negative impact on the greenback. It's also interesting that they uh, agreed officially not to devalue their currencies because I think it may somewhat tie the hands of Japan in uh, preventing the strength of the yen. What do you think this actually means in the short term in terms of the currency markets, if anything? I mean, for a long time we've been talking about the fact that China would call for a diversification of the world reserve currency system at the G8. So don't you think it was sort of factored in by the markets in advance? Um, I think to, to a large degree, yes, and uh, there are other um, sort of factors impacting the currency markets uh, more strongly than uh, concerns over how Chinese ideas uh, might play out. Uh, actually, G8 um, didn't have a good impact on investors' confidence by highlighting the fragility of the global economy, which is why the yen is trading as strongly as it is. Mm. Uh, but I think the Japanese currency doesn't have much out upside for, from here. Indeed, I see that you've got your year-end target for dollar-yen uh, at 102 by year-end, so in other words, gaining from where we are now, and euro-dollar pushing down to 136 by the end of the year. So despite all this call from, and of course it's not just China, it's also supported by the other BRICS, uh, this call to uh, diversify reserves away from the dollar, you still expect some strength for the greenback? I do. I think it will take much longer than until, until the end of the year for such diversification to occur. Uh, and in the meantime, the U.S. economy will prove itself to be the first one out of the crisis. And the Fed may start hiking rates already in December, which would uh, be favorable for the interest rate and growth rate differentials uh, supporting the greenback. That's why I believe that both the yen and the euro uh, will decline against the U.S. currency over the course of the second half of this year. Do you really think the U.S. economy is going to be strong enough for the Fed to start hiking rates? in December of this year? Because it certainly seems as if deflation rather than inflation is the problem right now. Uh, on the overall CPI level, uh, indeed, uh, we are uh, down 1%, and I think that uh, CPI will bottom out at around minus 2% year on year. Uh, but by the beginning of next year, it will already be uh, positive, and the Fed will have to focus on the forward-looking outlook of both some inflationary pressures and at the same time GDP expanding on already from Q3 this year and this will force them to start tightening their mm. policy. And yet you seem Derek to be ahead of what the G8 members are saying in terms of their exit strategies or winding back from all these stimulus measures because there wasn't really much emphasis at all of the G8 on exit strategies. The focus seemed to be more on the continuing weakness of the economy and maybe even the need for more stimulus. Uh, that's true. There was uh, no consensus among them to uh, talk much in their statements on exit strategies. And being politicians, they obviously have to uh, be very cautious and risks still remain. Uh, that's why there is um, the talk of um, you know, potential further stimulus packages. But I think that such packages will be needed not now or next year, but in 2011, where the current budget packages will mostly run out their course and uh, domestic demand may not be strong enough to, to sustain growth. So I think that in 2011 we are up for another round of fiscal stimulus packages. Okay, well we're watching. A couple of years to go. Derek, thank you very much for joining us. Derek Kowalczyk from SDS Markets. Good to see you. Coming up, the global